Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we're going to make an outing to Daytona Beach area. Come along. The Ormond Indian Burial Mound was constructed sometime after 800 AD. The skeletal remains of over 125 early Native Americans are buried here. This is believed to be one of the most intact burial mounds in Florida. Directly across the street is Ames Park. Ames Park is right along the waterfront and join us as we take a stroll through this beautiful little park. Next up, we go across Clyde Morris Boulevard. This is Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University that we're just passing through. And we are headed over to 92, which is International Speedway Boulevard. Now, International Speedway Boulevard has Tons of restaurants, lodging, uh, you name it, it's on this road. Has access to the Daytona International Airport where you've seen Air Force One fly in and out of during the races. Over here on the left, these are the newly renovated bleachers on the fourth curve of the Daytona International Speedway.
that's some of the uh, new part of the Speedway that has all been redone over the last few years. And this is an area that was new to us. We had never seen this before, called One Daytona. This was one of uh, Florida's famous sunny days. It was just a beautiful day coming over there. Now there are offices here for NASCAR and some of the other racing bodies. But there's a lot of great shopping and great dining, so we thought this would be a, a fun place to come over and spend the afternoon. I should have known there was trouble brewing when I see Kathy walking past Guitar Center. <laughs> but more on that later. One Daytona is a new complex. There's hotel, there's an upscale theater, there's shopping, there's dining. You can see Ben and Jerry's back there in the background. We came here called Rock Bottom. It's a restaurant and brewery. You can actually see the, the, their microbrew tanks right in through the glass in the front. They have their uh, beer menu, they have their regular menu. Taking on it, this is a Baltic gum. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. I got a chicken sandwich that has, uh, I don't remember what it was named. I think avocado chicken. Yeah, it's got avocado, chicken, tomato, lettuce, and bacon. Nice buttery bun. And macaroni and cheese, which looks like it's pretty deluxe. I got uh, macaroni and cheese, and they had an option either with Santa Fe chicken, I didn't want the chicken, or Santa Fe chicken with bacon and tomatoes and chives, and I liked all of that except for the chicken, so they did it for me without the chicken. It looks great. And on the way back to the car, the, the car we passed Guitar Center again. We have a new addition in our household. And she's beautiful. And she's been getting a good workout. Just a little hobby of mine. Next we go a little further north up to Flagler Beach. And the area just south of Flagler Pier is a dog friendly beach. It's one of the nicest dog-friendly beaches we found in all of the east coast of Central Florida. Look at that sky. This is one of our favorite places to come over to. We did pick a beautiful day for it, too. Maggie enjoyed it, too. Lots of shells washed up on the beach while we were there, but it wasn't just shells.
found a little crab of some sort. And just as we were ready to leave, this jellyfish came up. I think he was trying to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> so we headed north up towards the, the main part of town up near the pier. And as you can see, it gets parked pretty full up in that area. That is the famous Flagler Beach Pier. And one place we've seen on videos before and never tried was Funky Pelican. It's supposed to be really good waterfront dining, so that's on the list for next trip. But we did stop for dessert. One of Kathy's favorite spots. Oh yeah. Sally's ice cream for the Hawaiian Sunday. So good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our day out in the Daytona area as much as what we have. And we would love to have shown you some pictures of what we got at Sally's. Her Hawaiian Sunday was amazing. It was. But with the heat and the wind, the tower of whipped cream on the top was starting to list to the side. So we didn't, it was either eat it and enjoy it or take pictures of it and you see which one went out. That's right. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. We really do appreciate that. And if you liked our video today, be sure and give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. And if you've been in the Daytona area, let us know some of the places that you especially like too. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.